the truth. That's the only thing that matters. You're pushing this now to the limit. They need to make that decision. Either they take action now because you don't want to be stuck anymore in this connection. You're fine being single instead of having so much hope that things would move forward while they are just fooling around. You want to cut dry so that things in your life can grow and even have a new relationship. But this connection has been an obstacle of your life. It makes you feel bugged down and weighed down and just like, I can't. I'm suffering. I'm in pain. I just want to wake up one morning and all these things that I have endured and all these things that I have believed and then was let down, I just want it all to go away. Three of Swords. Scorpio. We're gonna go into your side and your person's side, okay? This is very interesting because, you know, like your readings are always, well, let's just say it keeps me up in my toes. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go for your Oracle and we're gonna see how things can evolve, how things in your life can develop. All right. So let's discuss first the Ace of Swords, the Sword of Truth, because it's the only thing that matters for a Scorpio. Fact. Or facts, right? Fact. This is what you guys are going to comment down there. Is that in this situation right now, you don't want to be dangled on anymore. You don't want to be waiting around, sitting in your phone. You don't want to be waiting at home, thinking that there is going to be a future. You want a clear direction. Do you want me? Do you want us? Is it an us? Or is there a we? Ace of Swords and the Hangman. So if you see this closely, this is someone, which is you, who has uh, been waiting, compromised with a Hangman. Hangman is also a traitor, which the way I see this is you feel betrayed or they have betrayed you because the Hangman in traditional tarot, someone stole something and then the coins would fall off meaning someone was guilty. So the sword's basically not up. Remember, the sword's is also up. It's you already have made that decision. So thinking is up. Down is already like, I made my decision. Hangman here is the, the part where I made my decision. You could also feel that you have betrayed yourself by waiting and settling for this because that's a traitor, right? And the first thing that we betray or get betrayed is us by our own decision. Mm -hmm. So this decision right now, you have the judgment and the nine of coins. You want things to just be clear, okay? Communication wise, be clear. Direction of the relationship, be clear. Everything basically be clear. Mm -hmm. The judgment goes to the world card, which means finishing of karma. When I say finishing of karma, karma is just a push and a pull, an action, and then, you know, there's a reaction. So you want it to stop going around in circles, you know. So if you do something, now is the time where it's like, I just want to rectify it. Is it yes or no? And that's it. You walk away. You start a new life. The nine of coins is your career, you know, your health. It's very important for you. You're focused on this. You could be dealing with a, another Scorpio or Pisces. And then there's a King of Wands and a Queen of Coins. This is a card of settling. This is a card of making things happen in your life, if this is you. But on their end, I feel like this is uh, um, this is you thinking that it's like, oh, we are a good pair. I mean, like, they look like they're ready. A King of Wands is a Bachelor, Bachelor card. It's like, oh, wow, they're at their prime. You, know? you met someone who is in a stable position in their life already. They have a career, they're set. But with the King of Wands, of course, like they may want to, you know, go and wander around as a King of Wands. And if you're in the Queen of Pentacles, you just uh, have a new home or you're purchasing a home that's a Queen of Pentacles, she's ready to settle. She has a nice kitchen. That's what I always say. Um, she doesn't cook though, but she does provide, okay? So you may be Nine of Coins with the Queen of Coins. You may be the provider um, with your family. Like you are a breadwinner 
right? Queen of Coins, there's a feminine energy that has their own business. Queen of Coins and the Nine of Coins. Now, on their side here, um, there is Eight of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune. So there is a communication coming in, right? This communication has been going through so long, like forever, basically. And it goes around in circles because the Wheel of Fortune is time and then time again. So it goes around in circles. And the Wheel of Fortune also, it's you have to take a chance on this, right? So it's a take a leap of faith with Lady Luck. So you took a chance thinking that there is an opportunity, but there is, yes, because there was a Four of Wands, right? But it's four of ones. Every time you take opportunity and move things forward, so this is good, right? Double the card, double the energy, things go better, right? It also doesn't go better. So up and down, up and down. Three of swords right now is your current situation with them. Now, they also feel this, okay? So there's a separation. You have a judgment, which means that's reconciliation. You have the wheel of fortune, which means again, trying to be back together or addressing the situation, trying to find the happiness. Three of Swords and the Four of Wands. A breakup, a separation. Heart, a, a painful uh, discussion that you guys have, okay? Because there's normally there's a heart in the Three of Swords. These are, the Swords are truth, communication, thoughts, okay? Now, there has been some disagreement between the two of you that led to a separation of this relationship. Now, it's hard to manifest when you're here and you may not probably be aware that you are in pain. Yes, with nine of coins, queen of coins, you're good. You work, you're focused, but you haven't really taken a pause. So if you took a pause, you will have a judgment and you will see that you have this pain within you and it's difficult for you actually to manifest. When I was going through this, like everybody, of course, goes through their breakup. Um, let me share with you how you can elevate yourself so that way that, that void, you put attention in it and it can be healed. In a world longing for love, self-care, and inner beauty, Rose Quartz shines as a beacon of transformation. Our handmade Rose Quartz bracelets embody the essence of love. Meticulously crafted, they invite self-care into your life. Its calming energy soothes the soul, reducing stress and anxiety while reminding you to love yourself and practice self-compassion every day. Embrace the magic of Rose Quartz. Discover a life filled with love, self-care, and inner beauty. Okay, so yes, the Three of Swords, right? I'm gonna show you mine. Okay, so wearing mine, I'm still wearing the Citrine, of course. So this one is very old. Okay, this one has been given to me a long time. And then, of course, this is our new ones. Now, this one is a combination, my PL. Okay, so attracts love, you know, <laughs> and you know, the other one is the self-healing. So we have a huge collection. We ship international and it is made to order by me. Okay. Um, the rose quartz, I make it um, on Fridays. Okay. The most that I mean, like, that's my target because Friday is Venus Day. Okay. So for me, I like to align when I make it. It has to align when the planets are supportive of the energy. Okay. All right. Um, yeah. So you can check it in the description box below. Alrighty, love it. Okay, now going through this pain is difficult. Waking up in this pain is difficult. That's why you just want to cut through the bull. You don't want to be someone entangled, Queen of Swords with the Three of Cups, who is like, you know, you're entangled with someone who's like, well, you know, maybe they flirt around, they talk to someone, Three of Cups over there. You know, like they're just open right now. But Three of Cups with the Four of Wands, it's reconciling again. I feel like you're stuck between trying to reconcile with someone, you're stuck with trying to, you know, like to connect with them. It's like, because the hangman is not helping you at all, even though you're trying to gain introspection, like introspective, yeah. Okay, so, hmm. This card right here is about a breakthrough, okay? You have a globe, which means like you're breaking free. This globe represent, you know, representing how the norm is. There's a feminine masculine energy there, okay? It's like Raggedy Ann, okay? And then there's that horse coming out. It's, it feels like you just wanna break free from the norm. You don't wanna be judged. Let's just say, um, you know, you're at a certain age right now. People will be judging about age. People will be judging about looks, religion. It's like, I just wanna break free from the norm. I don't want to be 
um, in this typecast of this kind of relationship. Like, oh, you've been two years talking, you should be married, you know? It's like, but I want progress though. I don't want to be basic, but you know, like there has to be some sort of logic. Your person is very smart, intellectual type. This is a businessman, entrepreneur, okay? But they do monkey around. They do have a good way of reasoning. So there's an, always an excuse with your person. They always have a good excuse. All right, then let's see here. You've met this person probably during travel. Eight of Wands with the Wheel of Fortune. A long distance relationship mm, can be, but I don't see the world card yet. You may be moving, that's what I'm seeing, or you just move. The next 30 days is gonna be crucial because 12 months in a year at the least, and 30 days is allotted, that's how I see it. It's enough time to make that decision. It's not rushing, it's not too short, it's not too long, 30 days. Okay, because it's a whole cycle of the sun, 30 days. It's a whole cycle of moon from waxing and waning. So I go where the energy is, so it's a full cycle every time. So I think of it like every month or every 30 days is a, um, is a will of fortune, it's a cycle. So when you look at life like it's a cycle, then you know, okay, well, I'm gonna break that cycle, you know? That's like your birthday, right? It's not your birthday, but you break a cycle, you learn something in that whole wheel, okay? So someday probably we'll coach a how to break a cycle or how to look at it, yeah. Because like a time, right? It's a whole cycle, okay. And then it repeats again, because from 12 o'clock, there you go, one o'clock, so. Okay, and then your best course of action right here. The sun, of course, right now is in Taurus. Just move, Sankrati, basically, which means it's in the seventh house for the Scorpios. Everything is about relationship and partnership. You may be trying to heal it. The sun is uh, healing. So the best course of action in your person, what they're going to do. Okay, let me just see here your chart also. Okay, let me see. Oop. Wow, it's difficult because you have a king and queen of pentacles. This is how you feel towards them. <laughs> now, the king and queen of pentacles, um, this is showing now that you feel aligned with them. There is a good, oh, there's a good connection. But then, of course, the Scorpios can be very stressed right now, anxiety and stress. For me, when I... I got my first, okay, I told you the story already, my first source was very, very tiny, very, very tiny. And it was in the quest of healing. It was in the quest of like trying to be okay. That's what I, that's where I was at. Mm -hmm. I was in Santa Fe, New Mexico, mm -hmm. in a quest of healing. I would want to do that again, but you know, like, it's not like I need healing, but we always need healing, but you know, that would be a good time. You have a six of ones over here. I'm seeing that you're, ooh, okay. You want something, success in your career, okay? Five of Pentacles, this is now showing that in this situation, okay, um, there is a need for you, oh well, it's coming from their end, to communicate. But they're restricting themselves right now from interacting with you. They have so much obstacles, they say. Ace of Wands is a quick turnaround. So during this time, of course, I feel like in the next 30 days, with a Scorpio, because everything is in this, I mean, not everything, the sun is in the seventh, then it is high time for you to see through what is going ha to happen in this relationship that has been delaying parts of your life. So let's see what you are worried about. And uh, Nine of Swords, how can we make that go away? What is always inside your head that bothers you, that doesn't help you in the morning or you know cat catches you off guard in the middle of the day? That's the Nine of Swords. Is it the part where you haven't really spoken to them with the judgment and now you're just thinking, yeah, I'm gonna tell them, I'm gonna call them, I'm gonna text them and then, you know, like I want clarity. That's, is that the one that you're being anxious about? Five of Pentacles, why they don't wanna talk right now. Okay, so they don't wanna talk, let's see. Seven of Wands, they are claiming here that, you know, there is some sort of limit in this relationship. Seven of Wands with the Four of Wands, what is that? You know, let me see what that is, okay. Now we're gonna get your card of focus. Don't forget, everything is in the description box below for the extended reading. We dive deeper, I work with you in the extended. Okay. And also the Rose Quartz collection. It comes in different gemstones also, faceted, different sizes, and shipped international. Let's see here. 
your card of focus is actually to settle things and to patch things. That's a three of coins. To work things out. Mm -hmm. That's a three. wonderful card. I like this. Because the three of coins is about um, understanding, you know, so you, which is the swords, that's the thought. You're not the Scorpio, which the judgment over there is just like, I'm out, I'm done. It's more of like, I want to have a conversation. I want to see things clearly. And then I'll make that decision. Well, let's see if it's going to work out with the three of coins. So follow me, link in the description box below for the extended reading. Let's work together.